Corporate landlords, oh, we love them, don't we? Well, now uh, corporate controlled robot landlords are quickly taking over the real estate market, scooping up thousands of starter homes that should be going to, you know, working families uh, before regular people even have a chance to buy them. And uh, what makes matters worse is the companies that are doing this using algorithms and all of that are just trying to corner the rental market. And they become landlords who don't want any face time with any of their tenants. And that's what this is about. So take Imagine Homes, we've talked about Imagine Homes before. They're the focus of a new deep dive by Vice. And here's what they write about Imagine Homes. Imagine Homes is an example of an automated landlord, a company that uses new data tools and technologies to minimize the costs of an on-site human labor, of on-site human labor while collecting profits from rental properties. They are essential to the new and growing sector of companies backed by Wall Street investment firms that buy up thousands of single family rental homes across several states. So we've talked about the private equity firms buying up entire neighborhoods of single family homes because they wanna corner the rental market. Now this is the second part of that, which is how they find tenants, how they treat their tenants, and how they just rely on technology so they never even have to do any FaceTime with human beings who are dependent on having a roof over their heads. Now, um, Imagine Homes is taking automated to a whole new level, okay? The author of this piece, Nick Kepler, actually went to tour a, an apartment that was for rent and was purchased by Imagine Homes as a rental investment. The rental company's website Finishes scanning my face, he writes, and an algorithm decides that I do resemble the photo on the passport I uploaded earlier. I get a text with a temporary six digit key code. There is no one waiting to greet me as I enter. As soon as I leave, I get an automated text asking if I want to apply to rent the place at $1,590 a month. Okay, so. He could have proceeded with every single step of this process, applying for the apartment, paying the deposit, moving in, and even living there for years without ever speaking to a single human being. Now, if you've ever lived into it lived in a corporate owned apartment building, you know what a disaster that is. If something breaks in your apartment, getting them to show up and fix it is almost impossible. Okay, it's very different from like a mom and pop landlord situation. Corporate landlords don't care. And corporate landlords run like corporations do. They wanna maximize profits. And so they're not gonna provide good service to their tenants. And that's, that's a huge part of this problem. And the way that they're doing this, using the technology and the algorithms that they're using is making an already terrible situation even worse. Mm -hmm. I, I can't, I mean, I, I, uh, my inclination is to say I can't believe that this is happening, but I guess why not? Like when, you know, the, the websites that are listing the real estate, it turns out now they're, they're buying up all the real estate and selling it themselves. Like when you have this exact sort of AI driven thing uh, making tickets impossible to buy, they're automatically buying the tickets. Why wouldn't they be doing that for the, for the homes too? And in terms of like operating as a digital landlord, some people might not mind this. We were having a talk before the show started about how, you know, the newest generation has grown up in a different world where some things are just normalized. I guess this sort of faceless, inhuman process might be considered normal, but I would wonder if the landlord can't be bothered to show the place or to confirm that the person is the person, to to leave it to just an algorithm looking at a passport and say, "Ah, you you could probably move in here." Are they gonna be there when like the sink breaks? No, of course not. Like, Are you kidding no me? There's no chance. This is this is cyberpunk. This is all with the robot cops and you just like getting your little cube or whatever to live in. You never interact with anyone. It'll be efficient for the businesses, I guess, but I don't think it's gonna prioritize the uh, the experience of the customer. They want to cut costs by treating their tenants like trash. Because again, it's a corporation. What do corporations wanna do? They wanna maximize their profits. And they're, the way they maximize profits is by cutting labor. And in this case, they don't even need to hire individuals to go mm -hmm. show the apartment. So they're cutting labor in that regard, okay? 
By the way, I mean, part of being shown an apartment or a home that maybe you're considering buying is like, they show you things about the space that you need to know about. And yeah. if you don't have that, it's it's a it's a problem. Yeah, clearly. Okay. Yeah, so well, the, the issue is that there's nothing that can be done legally to stop this. There's no way that you could limit how many properties a particular company owns. There's no way that you require that a human is involved this at is different why I steps. Hate the Democrats. You'd need to I have mean, like a government or something. We don't do have that. a single party in this country. Well, when it comes to economic matters, we do have a single party, and it's a pro corporate party. Democrats, Republicans love to join forces. I mean, look at what Democrats did today in intervening to prevent a rail strike from happening. I mean. Come on, so there's that. But aside from that, this isn't even on Joe Biden's radar. Nancy Pelosi couldn't care less. Like, think about Democratic leadership. This does the algorithm let her into her extremely expensive refrigerator? I wouldn't be surprised if she's invested in this company. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not kidding. Yeah. I mean, someone should look into it. She has to do disclosures, right? Yeah. So I mean, well, like a lot of these, these the last two stories really. Like, this is an area where. Uh, like there are going to be some people who've been in politics for literally decades and are not going to have any ability to understand the situation that you, you just laid out in terms of renting a place. Not only for the tech side of it, but also because point. they haven't had to go through this in decades and they have no idea what it's like. What happens to someone who's like, I think about my parents, right? My dad, especially. Let's say my dad needed to find an apartment to rent. He's not gonna be able to go through that process mm -hmm. with the tech that's necessary to rent the apartment that's owned by Imagine Homes. Yeah, where's the Imagine, Lord, imagine the what, code? by the way? Imagine dystopia? Congratulations, <laughs> you guys succeeded in that. And by the way, to your point about like, they're not gonna show up to fix the sink. You're absolutely right about that because even if they wanted to, which they don't, they don't even have the workforce necessary to take care of these tenants. So the company has not specified its number of employees, but most indications or by most indications, it is a scrappy outfit. Great euphemism there. With 35 employees listed on- I think you, you guys, when you made the graphic, you added a needless S to the beginning of that. <laughs> right. No, that's a copy and paste. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, with 35 employees listed on LinkedIn and 50 to 200 estimated by Indeed. All to manage 1,500 houses across four states and to rapidly acquire more. It outsources and automates most of the tasks that traditional landlords do. Yeah. Just recipe for disaster. So every year when things are really bad, because things we live in America, things right now are really bad. I try to soak in how bad it is because fact of the matter is <laughs> next year it'll be worse. <laughs> Like I think back to how unhappy I was in 2016. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I wish we could go back to 2016. Things are significantly year, worse right now than they were in 2016. In most ways, yeah. Look at the price of housing. Yeah, in that's 2016 true. compared to today. That's true. And then come back to me and tell me what you think. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.